Hi everyone, it's Flo from VTTsAndMore.com and today I am back with another makeup tutorial and this time it's a back to school makeup look using all drugstore products so you can see it is on the toppy side it's very simple and easy the eyes are so easy to do and also the lips are a little bit on the rosy side so I hope you will enjoy and let's get started Today I am making the whole face because uh, I think it's important to see all the steps especially for the special day because uh, I think it's one of the most stressful day of the year when you go back to school and of course you want to look very nice and pretty so I think it can be very helpful to see all the process. I am using L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I love this one because it has a very nice coverage and it lasts all day and it gives you also a matte finish so that you don't have your oily T-zone that shines throughout the day. I am using also a concealer because um, I have lots of blemishes, you know the hormonal acne on the chin so I'm putting a little bit of concealer especially on these areas. You can see we have some darkness and uh, I think this concealer is very very nice because it's thick but um, it's also lightweight and it covers my blemishes quite nicely and I apply the product with the brush like this and I use my finger but also a brush like this because it's smoother and it doesn't create a harsh edges. Now I like to set the foundation and the concealer with this powder. I am using this brush because uh, it's very very handy, you can see it's kind of large and also it doesn't deposit too much product on the face so it's very lightweight. And I add a little bit more of the powder here to avoid any smudging under my eyes. Now I am doing my brows. I'm using NYX Tame and Frame. This is the shade black, but uh, it's not a true black. It's very, very uh, dark, but it's more espresso color. You know, very, very dark brown color. So that's why I'm using it because uh, you can see my roots are totally black. Now I will make a mini review of the Sigma Perfect Blend Kit and uh, I think for back to school it can be very useful because it has everything you need to create a nice beautiful look. The first brush is the Highlight Diffuser E31 and this one is perfect for highlight, you can see it has a flat top and it creates a nice sharp edges onto the brows like this. Now this is the all over blend E37. You can see the scale of the brush onto my eyes and uh, I think it has the perfect size to blend the product very well and to diffuse the product. Now this is the Ponte Crease brush E48. This is very very long, it's very supple, you can see it's very large and it helps diffuse the product onto the crease. Now we have the diffuser crease E38, I like to use it clean to blend out the product onto my eyes. Now this is the Buff and Blend E39, it's very dense and very small so for my eyes and because my eyes are very small I think this has a nice size. The Exact Blend E32 also is very dense and more precise for my small eyes. It also catches the powder very well and I like to use it as a smudge brush and uh, to add more depth and definition to my eyes. 
And here just a size comparison with the classic blending brush from Sigma. Now moving on to the makeup tutorial, I am using this base, Maybelline Color Tattoo Metal in Barely Branded. This is a nice champagne color that I apply on all over the lid. It is a little bit shimmery, so I think it creates a nice soft look. I apply with my finger because it warms up the product and it's easier to apply. And I add a little bit more product into the corner of my eyes to give some pop to the eyes. Now I am using L'Oreal Infallible in bronze taupe. You can see this is a creamy, almost mousse texture and the color is absolutely gorgeous. This is a taupe color but uh, I think with a little bit of silver in it and it's more on the cooler side even if it's a brown shade. I like to use this small brush because it catches the powder better and it also helps to intensify and to build up the color a little bit more compared to the other brushes and I sweep the product here onto the lower part of my eyes. Now I am using the all over blend brush so that I can diffuse the product onto the rest of my lid so that I can buff out the edges. Now I am using the winged liner. But this is not from the kit, uh, this is another brush from Sigma. And I apply here the product onto the lower lash line. It creates more definition to my eyes and it opens up my eyes. I am using again the exact blend to intensify the outer part of my eyes and also to smoke out the lower lash line. Now I am adding a little bit more product to give more depth to my eyes. Now this is another infallible product and this is Iced Latte which is a very pretty intense champagne color and I am using the highlighter diffuser brush here onto the arch of my brows like this. You can see it creates some nice edges and uh, I think it's very very convenient and it catches the product very well. Now I am blending the two colors together so that we don't have any harsh line. I am using the same product here onto the inner corner with that brush because uh, it creates a more diffuse look. It's more softer at the same time. Now I am using this brown eyeliner from Rimmel. This is a waterproof color, very important, especially when you have monolith like me. It can be very messy at the end of the day because it can smudge. So that's why I am using a waterproof formula. I trace the line and I extend the line to create something more defined and uh, I elongate my eyes with the brush like this. Now I am smudging out the product with my dense brush with the product left on the brush. I don't add more product because um, I want something softer. I do that because I want a softer look and uh, I think uh, it's better especially when you go to school to not have uh, too much makeup. And I'm adding a little bit of the eyeliner onto the lower part of my eyes like this. Now I am curling the lashes because it helps to open up my eyes 
and also to avoid any smudging and of course I am using my favorite mascara of the moment this is from Maybelline this is Lash Sensational and I apply uh, one coat here onto the top of my lashes now I remove the excess with a q-tip Now a little bit of mascara onto the lower lashes because it opened up my eyes also. Now I am using some darker powder that I apply like a bronzer and also uh, as a contouring powder. And I apply the product especially onto the cheek, the jawline and where the sun hit naturally my face. Now a little bit of blush and this is a peachy tone because it's very natural and I apply the product onto the apple of the cheeks. Now I am going back with iced latte that I will use as a highlighter but uh, don't use it too much because it can be very metallic and very visible so I dab the product here and I dab onto my hands after and I am creating the C shape onto the brow bone and the high point on my cheek like this onto the nose, the forehead and a little bit on the cupid's bow now moving on to the lips this is Touch of Spice from Maybelline I love 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 this shade you can see it is almost berry tone and uh, it's on the rosy side and I think this color is absolutely absolutely beautiful and very natural but uh, with a touch of color now I am using this lip gloss onto the lips so that it gives a nice shine to the lips And now to finish up the look, I am applying a little bit of powder, especially onto the T-zone so that you avoid to be too oily during the day. Now I am using the Dewy Finish Spray from NYX because I want my makeup to stay all day on the face and to have a more dewy finish as the foundation is very matte and I'm letting it dry like this now uh, this is very rare but uh, I will show you how I do for my hair I protect my hair because they are already a little bit damaged because I did some highlights onto my hair a few months back and uh, I am uh, using a very large one like this and I avoid to let my hair touching too much the wand. I don't use much product on my hair because uh, I think uh, it's way too much and most of the time I hate the scent. I'm very sensitive. You can see I take very large sections like this because I want something uh, more diffuse. I don't want very defined curls because I'm, I want something very natural. I'm curling my hair with big section like this perhaps a three section on the left here on the bottom side and on the right and I do the same with the rest of the hair I'm dividing my hair into three large sections like this and I'm curling the same way so I want to create not too defined curls because I want something very natural like messy curls something very effortless and I comb through my hair to give some more definition and you can see it's very natural, it's very fresh and so easy to achieve you can create this hair style in less than 5 minutes so this is the completed look and uh, yeah it was very easy to achieve 
from the beginning to the end it can take 20 minutes maximum and uh, I think this is very very handy especially in the morning when you are in a hurry and especially if you want to sleep a little bit more so I hope this was helpful and uh, join me on my blog and on Instagram where I am all the time and please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe